the buttresses, there are 230 of these. They're basically spread out every nine feet on this 2,000 foot long wall. What you don't realize is that there is a sea of concrete and steel, literally thousands and thousands of tons of concrete and steel below the surface. And we eliminated 30 relief wells with, with this project and we added three new ones that go into our stormwater pump station. And so this, we finally concluded in December of 2020. So four years total for the project. This alone was almost two years. Basically, there are two ways that you can protect property from the river overtopping. And one of those is to construct large berms, large earthen berms. Good examples of those run along the Shunga Creek and go out to Oakland. And then the other is when you don't have enough room to do a berm, you have to resort to a flood wall. Flood walls are much more expensive to construct and maintain than an earthen berm. The core of engineer standards is they basically model and look at what is a hundred year flood event. At what river level is, would a hundred year event be, which is the 1% storm. And then they add three feet of freeboard above that. So basically we have three feet of protection above the hundred year rain event by both in the berms as well as in the flood wall.